And I was happy about it because I said, and I made a video for them, subhanallah. And why? Because I said, you know what, mashallah, at least your parents have finally, you know, agreed. So sometimes Allah doesn't give us something. Just relax, take it easy, take it in your stride. Perhaps Allah knows that your future with this particular person is not going to be as rosy as you think. So learn to let it go. I tell my children, do not get attached to anything you found on earth to the degree that when it's taken away by Allah, you become depressed. No matter who and what. If your attachment is to Allah, you won't be let down. When your attachment is to something you found on earth, you may have a problem. We're all attached, but to what level? To a level that if it were to be taken away from you, at least you know, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un, and Allah will help you to continue and to grow and to go. So my brothers and sisters, Allah Almighty favors us sometimes by taking us away from things. I can give you a ton of examples. You might have heard me say in the past that I know of someone who lost his job and kept applying and kept applying. And years later, he started up his own thing and made more money than the entire business of where he used to work before within a few months. And Allah kept him that way. Allah kept him that way for a few years. And Allah knew that I'm going to open your doors in such a way that you will never ever regret having waited. I can tell you the same about marriage. I know a sister who told me that I've been divorced four times, but I don't regret because when I married the fifth time, I found the king of my dreams. Don't look at me as though you want to marry five times. No, no, no. We need to realize it's just an example where I'm letting you know, don't lose hope. Allah knows. So what?